Hey train friends, welcome back to another train store walkthrough video. Today we're back again at Hobby Express in Cranberry, PA. We're gonna go inside today and check it out on PGH Train Fanatic. They have expanded the store. It's larger than before. So we're gonna check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Let's go in. This side of the store is where it was expanded over, so there's more trains. Yeah. So we're going to check it out. Let's go. You can see they got all kinds of things here for kids. Puzzles. You name it. It's here. We're going to start off with the HO scale trains and the N scale. Here's some N scale locomotives. Really nice. And as you go down this wall, you can see there's tons of cases of trains. They just keep getting bigger as you go down. So we'll make it down to the O scale and the, the G scale even. Some uh, cars in the cabinet. Uh, some HO scale buildings and sets down here. And if you turn around, here's more of the cabinets. Lots and lots of HO scale trains. There's so many things here that it would take you a while to look at them all. <laughs> Check out all of these HO scale engines. Boatloads. All right, and then here is the O scale engines. Check these out. Just give a quick shot to the left. There's some Lionel Legacy engines. You can see they got some of the, the Amtrak Genesis locomotives in stock. These just came out recently. They look pretty good. And down here we got some Lion Chief engines. A couple Legacies. I like the that Canadian Pacific. Or I'm sorry, the Canadian National. ES44 Heritage, that thing's awesome. Check out this, the black US Armed Forces ES44. That thing is bad to the bone. <laughs> Murdered out. And then we got all the uh, BNSF engines down here. You can see there's some nice Legacy uh, Dash 9. Some Burlington items. I like this Burlington Northern SD40-2, that thing's sweet. Tell you what, this Rock Island H1544 is really a sharp engine. Look at how beautiful that paint scheme is. It's tough to see the prices, oh, there we go. And then moving down here, there's quite a few more. Also some engines down below. That Atlantic Coastline E6 set is beautiful you can see that comes with all the passenger cars right now they're just showing you well actually I'm sorry that comes with the AA set and then there's passenger cars you can purchase separate and then over here a whole bunch of Santa Fe locomotives some little SW1200s got some speeders this thing caught my eye when I was looking at it before. This is a really awesome looking engine. This is the Lionel Legacy SD40T-2 Santa Fe. It's tough to see tag, but I kind of like that a lot. All right, and then we've got some CSX engines, MTH Legacy Genset, MTH Proto 2 SD40-2. Those are pretty rare to find brand new at least. And then some more CSX engines, Norfolk Western, got the Veterans Specials. There's a Lionel Ballast Tamper, 
little Norfolk Southern SW 1500 MTH Proto 3. That's that's a sweet looking little engine. Got the GE Hybrid. The uh, NS SD 70 Mac and a Dash 8. And come down here. We got a Lionel Gen Set, some Conrail units, SD 70 Mac, SD 40, SD 38. All look fantastic. There's the SW1 and Norfolk Western GP35 is a great looking engine too. I like that high hood, that's sweet. Then down in the lower case here, you can see some more items. And then let's move over to the next case. I like that Virginian Train Master with PS3. That's sweet. Boston and Maine. There's another one of those legacy SD40T-2s that I was looking at before. That engine is sweet. Look at all the detail on the roof and the, it's got a flashing beacon on it. Penn Central RS27. Look at the, the funny looking window on the front of that. Looks like Cyclops. <laughs> all right, and then here's some more of those engines. Got Monongahela shark noses, Erie Lackawanna GP35. I love the Erie Lackawanna paint scheme. I don't have one, I need one. <laughs> but yeah, those are sweet. I like the Legacy DNLW. That's pretty sick. Very nice. And moving down here, we got some more Eries. F1As and F1Bs. This Erie Alco PB unit is Pretty awesome looking. Pensy GP35, that's a MTH. Another MTH GP35. And then there's a non-powered SD45 right there. That's from Lionel. There's the C-Liner. Getting a lot of my reflection here. There's some legacy shark noses. Down below, check out that, the new Lionel Legacy Greenbrier. That thing is bad. Ace, A-C-E, like the engine. <laughs> There's a nice looking Chessy system, GP30, that's a Legacy. Sweet. Not a bad deal on that engine either. All right, got more to go here. Here's a Southern Pacific Bloody Nose. More Southern Pacific units. That BNLE AS616 is pretty sweet looking. And then you can see one of my building flats back there. He bought a few from me before. Let's see, we got some of the Union Pacific Heritage units, all legacy. Those are always awesome. Great looking units. Pittsburgh and West Virginia AS616 is pretty sweet looking. Look at those stripes on the nose. That's sick. Chicago Northwestern with those same stripes is pretty awesome too. Some AVR units. New York Central, Union Pacific. Those are the new MTH H1044s. Those look pretty good. Rail King. Nice engine for Rail King. And we got a Legacy F7s, those are sharp, Union Pacific. Then you got the Powered by Our People locomotives, the Desert Storm SD40-2 from with Legacy. I did a review on that engine. If you didn't see it, I'll put a link to the video. Check out this Union Pacific H1544. That thing is sharp. Sheesh, that's a nice looking engine. Sick. All right, and then down here, some more Union Pacific items. Got the Spirit of the UP, that's the MTH one. Legacy Gen Set. And check out down below, we got the, the new Brass Hybrid Challenger. And there it is, in all of its glory. Lots of detail on that. That's a great looking engine. And then behind it, you can see there's some more units back there. SD90 Mac, 
and then the the veranda i did a, uh, a review on my department of defense veranda if you missed that i'll put a link to the video in that for that video as well and then coming over here we got some line chief plus 2.0 engines got a pittsburgh and lake erie 280 there's some strasburg engines the 89 that looks like that's the i think that's the 90s version don't quote me on that guys because i don't know that well to be honest with you this pittsburgh and west virginia engine is sweet got the little legacy 060 pennsylvania right there actually i have that engine and i haven't reviewed it yet so look for that video coming up in the near future here's a pensy j the j 2104 this one's legacy is it oh that is yeah yeah that's the new legacy one yeah those are nice that took me a second to realize it and then over here on the right side is the new pensy uh lionel l1 mikado that looks sharp one of those will be coming to the channel sooner or later and then coming down here there's some more l1s 260 282 those are both uh mth and coming down here we got some more pensy engines here's another mikado different style that one has the red on the top of the tender and the roof still great looking and then there's a check out this engine this is the mth proto 3 g5 sharp super detailed love those gold spokes on the rims and then they always got some nice stuff hiding down in here what do they got down in here they got a 2882 back there and they got a mth big boy that's the the new uh, rail king version and then coming over here got some christmas items trolleys these williams trolleys are are really great looking i'd love to get one of those and make it command controlled some g scale trains that's really cool climax not a bad price for a big locomotive either check out these like saddle tank engines down here those are sick That'd be awesome like for a garden railroad ah okay i'm gonna get that thought out of my mind real fast i need to focus on the o gauge layout <laughs> here's some more o gauge items there's the uh, v1000 mth engines there's a halloween es44 that comes with the uh, caboose too loco and caboose 419 so that's a good engine if you're looking for a halloween engine right before the holiday it's coming up and then up here we got some mth 2104s and they are fantastic looking here's the cno version really nice down below there's a bunch of ho scale engines and cars and then we're going to just take a quick tour of everything else through the store some of the train items but back here you can see they have tons of die cast cars lots and lots of die cast cars as you walk through the store there is just stuff everywhere so many things to look at so much cool stuff and let's check out the rest of the trains here so we want to walk up here we'll look at the some of the accessories you can get track you can see here's a lot of the g scale items and then over here a bunch of lionel items accessories freight cars you can see there's some vision line cars right there and we'll walk around here there's more freight cars and sets you can see over here they have buildings woodland scenic structures they're always really fantastic and detailed so they even have some menards items like that red owl and if you look down here they have sets you can see they have oh bessemer set and then um, just more buildings
and even some Menards items. And we'll just turn around here. You can see on this side there's all kinds of boxes. These are these are hopper car sets. Let's go around the other side. All right, coming over here, they have some more Lionel engines. I'm sorry. All right, coming over here, you can see there's some more Lionel freight cars, Thomas items, some MTH items mixed in here. You can see some MTH sets, a Lionel. There's the uh, the Hustle Muscle set, Budweiser set. Here's the the Hallow's Eve set. There's more boxes of buildings up here. Here's some more sets down here. It's like the, the uh, Amtrak set. Area 51 set from Lionel. I did a review on that. I put a link to the video as well. Lionel U.S. Army set. And then we come over here. You can see this is where you can search for some track. They got Atlas track products. Lionel Fast Track, MTH, Real Tracks, Polar Express items. If anybody's looking for one of these, I was checking it out before the video. It's the RPO car for the Polar Express. They have one. They also have a black roof, uh, the, the Hobo car, but this one is the black roof version. These cars are getting hard to find, but uh, you never know. Lionel may be be putting them in the next catalog stay tuned who knows hopefully here's some more track products some gargraves we got smoke fluid tunnels and then we walk over here toward the center of the store you can see there's all kind of scenery supplies grasses trees shrubs lots of neat stuff here ballast Speaking of ballast, I need to get some ballast while I'm here. There's <laughs> a lot of cool stuff here. Here's some uh, little detail accessories, lights. The uh, Woodland Scenics Just Plug system. Got the Miller Engineering neon signs. Those are really cool. If you're not familiar with them, check them out. Then over here, there's a lot of more Woodland Scenic supplies. Some trees. We'll just look around here. There's some more scenery items. All kinds of stuff here to look at. Just take a, we're just kind of in the center of the store here. We'll just take a panning shot. You can see this is all the die cast cars and, and kits. It's all the train stuff. Um, up in the front corner there is a lot of uh, toys for younger kids. Then we come back here and there are RC cars. We'll check out the RC cars here in a bit. There is so much to see here. They got a little test layout as well. They even have some Star Wars items. Figurines. You can see up there, they even have more train sets up there. Polar Express sets. They're ready for Christmas. <laughs> and there's lots of paints and things. There's a bunch of figures. Okay, so he was just an employee. Oh, yeah. O-Gage. Lots of Mr. Menards cars. For not Dave, I should say Dave was Dan. I thought he was like Daniel's brother. And then more accessories. It took me a minute to realize. Some more things over here. You can see there's a bunch of HO scale track. And accessories track for N scale. And scale figures, anything you can think of, they got it. And scale buildings, and we're kind of back where we started. So let's move over and check out what's in the rest of the store before the tour ends. Just wanted to show you some of these 148 scale cars for O scale. There's tons of diecast cars here, but if you're ever looking for some O scale cars. There's tons of them. You can see they have tons of MTH cars as well. This Got some military tanks. That's sweet. All right, we're over in the 
RC car section now. Just checking out that Hoonigan car. That's sick. <laughs> that Chevelle is sweet too. So they got lots of, lots and lots. Oh, check these out. Whoa. That's pretty cool. That's a big truck. Let's check it out to my, compared to my hand. Wow. I bet those are fun. I actually used to race RC cars when I was younger. So RC cars kind of uh, piqued my interest a little too. These are sweet. Check out those. Smaller Traxxas models. They got a planes. You can see all the planes up there too. Tons of planes actually. Check out all these tracks and stuff. This is crazy. That one with the, with the tracks is sweet. Nice uh, Ford Ranger. And you can see back here they have all kind of cars. This is, they have a repair center. So you can get your cars fixed, buy all your parts. Check out this. Well, when you know where you're reaching. Very nice. Check out this thing. Oh, we gotta check this out. This is cool. That's awesome. And this one too. Sweet. I must miss the big red monster truck in the middle of the the, the train layout. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's sweet. Awesome. All right, then we come up toward the front of the store again. You can see they have a, a slot car track with slot car sets. And all kind of things for younger kids, like coloring books, puzzles, games. All right. See if this little roller coaster works. Oh, yeah, heck that. Check that out. Sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> cool. Some army items. Here's all the slot cars. You can see there's different, tons of different ones. Oh wow, check that out. That's awesome. The DeLorean from Back to the Future 3. That is so cool. I almost want to buy it and put it on my train tracks. <laughs> put it in front of a steam engine. That'd be sick. That's a good idea. I should do that. <laughs> you can see in the front of the store they have all kind of things like stuffed animals for kids, Thomas and Friends trains. Toys galore in this store. So check them out. Give them a call. This is a really great store and it even got bigger than before. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.